This is how you can create a custom person icon that can be used for business cards and more in Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dire Graphics. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing we want to do is simply to draw a circle. So select the ellipse tool and hold down the shift key to draw a circle. Then go to the top of the screen and make sure this link is on and change the width and the height of the circle to 200 pixels. Then choose the selection tool and while holding down the ALT key to duplicate, duplicate the circle. Then hold down the SHIFT key to make sure you drag it in a straight line and drag the circle up. Then while having this circle selected, go to the top of the screen again and change the width and the height of this circle to 100 pixels. Now hold down the SHIFT key while pulling this circle down until it snaps to the big circle. Then select both shapes, choose a stroke width, go to the stroke menu and click round cap and round join. Then select the direct selection tool and select this anchor point right here. Then press delete. Now go to the selection tool, select both shapes, go to the fill and disable the fill. This will make sure that the fill of the icon is transparent. So this is the stroke version of the person icon. Now let's do the fill version and lastly the flat design colored version. So select both shapes and move this icon to the side. Then for the fill version we can simply duplicate the stroke version and use that as a template. Now simply select the pen tool, click this anchor point right here and connect it to the anchor point in the right side. Then select both shapes. Select the fill and select the color that you want. And that is simply the fill version. Now let's do the flat design colored version. So move this to the side and once again make a duplicate of this one. We are going to use this as a template for the flat design version. So now while having both shapes selected, go to the top of the screen and select object, then go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then select the head only and go to the Pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. So now go to the Pathfinder panel and click Unite. Then choose the body and unite this one as well. The reason we do this is to merge the stroke and the fill together. This means that we now have one single shape without a stroke that still has the rounded corners from the round join of the stroke. So now select both shapes and select the color that you like for your icon. I will choose this default light brown color, but you can choose whatever color you like. Then deselect both shapes and select only the head. Then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. And you're not able to see it right now, but we have just made a copy of the head behind the original head. So now give this copy a color that is a little bit darker than the skin color that you chose. Then with the arrow keys, simply notch it down. I will notch it down one time while holding down the shift key. Then while still having the shadow selected, hold down the shift key to also select the body. Then go to the shape builder tool. And while holding down the ALT key to get this minus sign next to the cursor, simply subtract this part of the shape. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch another video about creating icons, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.